Hello YouTube, welcome to what is part 3 of my lithium iron phosphate battery build. Um, this here is a battery pack that I've built out of lithium polymer battery uh, cells from a laptop, so LiPo cells. Uh, they're 18650s and I think there's actually uh, 3 series and 4 parallel just like I'm going to be doing on my other one. So anyway, the, this this one's had, had a bit, bit of knocking around, so it's uh, it's got very short balance leads with an extension lead going onto it, which goes round the charger, and a Dean's connector to connect the charge current in. So this is what um, I hope to be doing on my battery. So I'm just going to set this up to go, and you can see charging 1.8 or 2.1 amps, 16.8 volts, because it's well over what we really want in an ideal 12 volt battery and uh, what I want to see is that bit there where it tells me the voltage of each cell so I'm just gonna cut one of these down after I charge this up for the, for the last time actually I've got two here so yeah, it's not too bad so I'm just going to give this a charge and uh, we're going to go back over to this one we'll be going over some more um, well we'll be connecting the balance leads onto each cell and um, of course put the power leads on so we can charge and discharge it um, we'll add there's one bit that I've uh, kind of overdone uh, I should have got the smaller plates for the ends because it's going to encroach on the free space and it's going to give too much of a chance of shorting out so for argument's sake today I'm just going to connect them with a, a 4mm with uh, crimp eyes and uh, like, like you see here so I'm just going to go one to two to three and then out because uh, I need to order the appropriate plates to go on here I might pick up a BMS at the same time maybe a charger a mains charger but anyway let's get on with this and see how far we get right hello um, I've put a bit more light on the subject because um, the lighting in this room is so poor, so um, I've got my LED light, it's causing some flash flicker on the screen, I hope it doesn't come out too bad on the video. So first of all, I've got my um, like BMS cable or balancing cable ready. I've got my crimp, oh where am I going? My crimp eyes ready to go on. Now I've had to drill these out to fit because I have no stock here, I've got no material as such because uh, I've moved out, I've got no workshop. And um, I've managed to uh, cut some of these plates down so they fit on the battery a bit better. So what I'm going to do first of all is actually um, connect uh, the, the the last uh, plates on the battery together. I'm just going to move these to one side. And bring over the battery. It's actually quite heavy now. So, should we do it at an angle? Let's do it at an angle so there's not so much glare. Um, this is just to bring the battery up a bit further so you can actually see. Let's do it at uh, that angle so the light's not so much on it. So, let's go to this side first. And um, I've moved everything round so I can't find my Allen key now. Oh, there we go, one Allen key. Um, so they come with their own little spring clips and washer, which we're going to use. Yeah, my big fingers are in the way. We have to stand up for this.
And there we go, that's all connected. And we're just going to put this to one side again, out of the way. Now we're ready to prepare our BMS leads. So, start by stripping them off. Use these to strip it because this would be a lot better. Now I'm going to twist these all together and double them over. Like that. So that they're a bit stronger and I'll be able to crimp them properly with the crimping tool. That's going to do the last couple. One more, right there. there we go. There we go. So that's all five stripped and doubled over. Now I'm going to grab my crimp eyes. There we go. And the crimping tool. And there, this one's got three settings red blue and yellow. I'm using blue ones so you put it on the blue. Blue is normally for up to 2.5. Red is up to 1 mil and I think, uh, oh hang on, I think yellow is uh, up to 6 mil. There we go. I'm going to do these all. Make sure it's gone in. Sure it's taken. There we go, that's one. Just four more to do. And there you have it, five crimp eyes, all nice and tight. Not going to come up, so now we can start figuring out where we're going to put these. Right, so I'm not quite sure if I'm going to have this right first time. Um, bearing in mind we have, uh, the BMS League goes red, blue, yellow, orange, black. So I'm going to hazard a guess because it's been a long time since I, I made a pack like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this off screen. I'm going to put red, blue, uh, yellow on the middle plate, orange there, and black there on the negative plate at the end, and see if that's correct. Um, because I'm not quite sure and I can't get the meters to light up on, on a one cell. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this off screen connect it all up and see if it actually works and if not I might have to reverse it because I've had to do that before. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Well there we have it. I've got red, blue, yellow, orange and black connected on the various plates and it's showing me that I have got it correct. 3.35, 3.39, 3.37 and 3.38 volts respective giving us a total of 
13.49 volts, which is brilliant. So what I've got to know is, do now is attach the power leads, uh, which I'm also going to do off screen because uh, I need to prepare some things. So yeah, uh, I'll come back to you when I've finished and we'll take it over to the charger and uh, we'll give it a quick uh, charge, although it should almost be uh, done. And uh, we'll be there. So I'm just going to go and find my leads. Right, so we've got our balance leads connected in. We've got our power supply connected in on the red and the uh, black. Uh, I'm actually using two two strands because I've, what I've got is computer cable, I've got no stock here. So that's connected into Wago connectors so I can make that safe when I've uh, finished filming for the night. Uh, so I've got the uh, the balance charger set up on the LIFE setting. 3 amp charge, 4 cell. I'm going to set it up. And there we go. Uh, started charging, 13 volts, 13.6 volts, 3 amps, and let's see if it picks up these cells, 3.38, so yeah, it's charging nicely, that one's a little bit high, no, higher than the rest, but I'm just going to see how this comes out, and then we'll close the video. So it's charged to 13.99 volts. The cells aren't particularly balanced, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to an IFE balance. And let it uh, do its magic. See what it comes up with at the end. There we go, fully charged uh, at 14.4 volts. It only took on 125 milliamps. And they're all pretty close together at 3.58 or 3.57, which is not bad for its first charge. Um, let's see what happens when we cycle this a few times and uh, maybe they'll come in line a bit further. So um, I'm happy with that. Um, tomorrow I'm going to sort out all the plugs and bits. Uh, and get some bigger cable over here so that I can make some proper ends and see if we can find a temporary box to put it in just to make sure that it definitely doesn't short out on anything and um, yeah and then we'll be uh, motoring so anyway thank you for watching this video if you've got any comments please leave them below please like and share the video because uh, um, I'm trying to do some different things things that I, I can't, haven't found much on YouTube so yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video Cheers.